No, 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 Here. Can you see? Something just blue. It's not on fire though. Oh. Sheesh. Yeah, something blue right here. Damn it, dude. Well the motor's off, right? Yeah, look at that. Jesus. I don't know what happened. Yeah, especially after you run around all the way. So, I mean, so, it, we clearly blew something here, though. She got hot, son. Dang, son. Oh, that's good. Now the noise stopped, but... Jeez. What happened here? Oh, something right here popped. No, I, I don't know, dude. There's so much shit going on. I, it can't be good that I'm just breathing all of it. Oh, dude, there's freaking tarpon back here. <laughs> right here, tarpon. Jeez, son. Hey, <laughs> search and rescue. <laughs> it's a search and rescue. <laughs> we need searched and rescued, <laughs> please. Dude, all over the place. I was all over the place. I don't know what this would be. Well, at least it happened here and not way off the door. Yeah, at least it didn't happen way out there. Yeah. Dang, son. You said it, bro. You're like, hey, man, this might not be a... Uh... Oh, is it not tied and ready no, to rock? Good. Okay, I was going to say. Some tape on the thing. But <laughs> you're like... Full, dis full disclosure. This might be a short trip. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't know. I didn't know. I mean, I knew that we hadn't tested it, but I didn't know it was going to be like that. That just extra sucked. Dang, I cannot believe this. I, I actually can believe it, but I didn't expect it. You got a knife? Yeah, it's in that gray box behind you. I don't know what happened back here. It's still, it's still smoky. It cannot be good breathing that in. Brother, that was a lot of psh that was a lot. It was like a car <laughs> It was a lot. You're like, that looks like fire, brother. I was like, I don't have insurance, Jake. I don't have insurance. I was like, I have no fire for sure. <laughs> so I'm, I'm too embarrassed. I, sh I could have asked for a tow in, but I'm just too embarrassed. What up, Jigging with Jordan? Hey, Bubba, where are you at? I am somewhere in Crystal River fishing. Oh, yeah? You got clients with you today? Yes, sir, I do. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> What's up with you, Ming? I'm just out here, you know, on search and rescue patrol. On search and rescue patrol? Yeah, I bought a retired U.S. Coast Guard search and rescue boat. And, uh, I came out, Crystal River. I'm in the... <laughs> didn't make it out of the river. <laughs> oh, are you stuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. I damn near I just had a freaking turbo diesel explosion fire in my my uninsured vessel. <laughs> oh shit. Are you alright? You all good? No, I'm good. I just had a yeah, she's smoking, but she's not on fire. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm uh I'm not I mean I'm literally in the first like, you know, wake zone where you can take off from Pete's Pier. But I was gotcha. I was gonna see if you knew anybody that could just limp us back. Not not you. I don't want to take you away from clients, but what could it, you think I could just call Pete's Pier? Um, I'm sure they would do it. Um, I can call a Plantation real quick. Have oh. somebody. Where did you put in at a Pete? Pete's, yeah. Let me uh, let me call Plantation. I know they're pretty slow today. All right, cool. Just give me a call back. We're not going nowhere. We're anchored over here. All right, send me a picture of what the boat looks like so I can send it to him. <laughs> All right, it's you a big-ass orange Coast Guard search and rescue boat. He it's won't... literally still like a Coast Guard boat. Yeah, it's... He'll know. <laughs> awesome. All right. All right. I'll give you a haul back in a minute. All right, thanks, Bubba. See you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell, Jake? Ed? We freaking literally have all our stuff. Dude, I woke up at 3.30 in the morning, and we about just blew this boat up.
We almost got it on fire. I was like, I saw all the smoke. Brandon's like, you think it's really on fire? I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's fire. <laughs> oh, that's fire. <laughs> like, for sure, that's fire. Dude, there was a lot. It was bad. I was like, I was like, Brandon, where's your fire extinguisher? And he hands me a fire extinguisher the size of a. <laughs> hey, that's what came on the can. boat, dude. Yeah, that's not even legal. You need. Two of those, or right. a big one. This was our only chance for survival. Hey, it's, it's, I, it's, I've drank Cokes bigger than this. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, shout out to, uh, this, oh, it still works, though. She still goes. Um, goes. I will say, the search and rescue team, that is what they had on board. I just want to put that out there. There well, was nothing that was removed from this vessel. Search and rescue team. <laughs> need search and rescue yeah we're, <laughs> they were like uh what color like just send me a picture of the boat i was like you can't miss it all right there you go all right so i'm taking this off and then what am i doing Corey? there's a there should be a strainer in it check and see if the strainer is clogged that smells terrible i mean it's definitely got some nasty looking shit in there, but I mean, it, I can see through the mesh if that is what you're saying. It's all I could think of this grass got. Yeah, it had to Because it just sat there running at the marina. Yeah, because you ran it all the way around the chain yeah. and never overheated it. Never had a problem. Gotcha. But we had that long idle coming out. And yeah, so it probably. There's a lot of grass, too. I mean, fuck, look at all this grass. Yeah. It's a ton There's of grass. A lot of seaweed today. I just don't want to get in there yet. <laughs> we can put it on the trailer and fucking go from there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hold on. Is this our guy? Well, this thing's, you can't hurt it. So even if you drift on into us, we'll just grab you and then we'll get our anchor up and everything. So that'd probably be easiest. We are officially being towed in. A good old Crystal River Adventure Center. Very nice of them. I was going to stay at their hotel anyway tonight. And uh, look at us now getting towed <laughs> well I got a boat for sale if anybody wants one yeah New update, friends and family. Left the boat running at the dock for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. Crept up in some heat, we did some research. We found that we could just have a problem that we can't diagnose, but we really think it's grass on the intake. So I'm gonna hop in, got the goggles, and basically look at the intake. I'll have to go for on so you guys will be able to see, and hopefully it's just full of grass and I can just take all that off and then we'll be good but if not where where we would be going if we have problems we would be screwed uh so we're gonna see clean as a whistle you got that up inside of it either? no i looked it's perfect like right where i dropped down is the grate then you can see the port pipe in it. So you got this great, and then it's a perfect white circle. Yeah. Let it cool down while it'll back in. I don't think it's happening today, dog. No. That no. It sucks. The guy that towed us in was telling me about all the deer. Ah, just had a bee sting the bottom of my foot. You know where oh, are you? My God. An actual bee or a wasp? I just saw it. It was a real bee just stung the bottom of my foot. How did that happen? Was the stinger in you? I don't know, but it hurts so bad. How, bro? <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Oh. Your foot's gonna be so small up, it's not gonna fit in your fin. <laughs> Is it? Is that a bee stinger? 
Yep, please don't touch it. That's it. I would like to get it. Go on ahead, buddy. They said to get it with a credit card. Can you grab the green knife out of that? Just know you got the last laugh because he's dead now. Look at that. Yep. Right there. That was his, he just gave his life. Yeah, why? To hurt I mean, you. what a weird, what a weird <laughs> time to be like, you know what this guy needs? A stinger in his My foot. booty hold pointer. <laughs> He's not had a rough enough day. Oh. Well, as you can tell, the boat made it all the way down to Florida which is an eight hour drive by the way, and it only stayed connected to the trailer because of the sponsor of today's video, which is Strapino. I know what you're thinking, ratchet traps, but trust me, these are not your everyday ratchet traps, okay? Not only are these incredibly strong, but they have a retractable system on them, so there's no more little loose dangly strap blowing in the wind. Those days are over. These straps are so great, matter of fact, that we have had them since we bought the submarine. We actually installed the massive straps that go on a trailer and they easily pull up. They could attach to your boat and then retract later. However, we stuck them to the submarine. They were super easy to install and those straps are bigger than seatbelts, man. They're incredibly strong and I don't worry about my submarine going anywhere. And you guys know, that's my baby. And on this boat in particular, there's no storage, but there's a bunch of big industrial tie down spots, which is great. So in the event that I wanna put a nice cooler on this thing, or I wanna strap down gear, spear guns, anything like that, I can grab these straps, strap in all my gear, lock them in, tighten everything down, and I don't have anything blowing in the wind. So these particular straps are gonna live on this boat so I can utilize all of these tie down locations. So whether you're using them for your trailer, boats, jet skis, roof racks, on your truck or just strapping stuff down in general make sure to click the link in the description below get yourself some strapino straps there will also be some information on how you guys can save on your order so thanks strapino for strapping down literally all of my boats and submarines in the past few months and i appreciate you guys for partnering on today's video I had a low tire pressure look at this oh yeah baby nothing like the old getting screwed Oh, Jesus. Just to put this in perspective, motor issues, stung in the foot by a bee, and now a screw in my tire. They say bad things happen in threes, which is good because now that's done. And so hopefully everything is all good from here. I hope. The bad news is finally over. <laughs> Look at this. We got a friggin' boat coming in. This one's for us today, boy. We're getting in there. Our luck is changed. Oh my goodness. Look, it's not the Coast Guard boat we thought we were going out on, but it low key is kind of an upgrade. I mean, this is a real- Huge upgrade. This is a, hey, hey, hey. Well, uh, big thanks to Captain Vinny or Captain Shalaba Laba, or we're just gonna keep changing it. Um, but without him, we literally would not have a video today. And just a blown up boat, a stinger in my foot from a bee, and a screw in my tire. So he is the first good thing that's happened to us today and uh, we're super grateful. So he does a guide service as well. It's gonna be linked in the description below. You guys wanna check him out, Crystal River, Florida. Come down to Plantation on Crystal River and go get on some fish. Hopefully Jigad and I are gonna shoot some shlabba labas, baby. Some big old schlabs, some gags. Some big groupers what we're going after. So I'm excited. There's a school of something running around down here. Like skinny tail, jack body looking, yellow, blue. Oh my god! Holy oh shit! Oh my god! Pulper everywhere! I have one really hurt over here, but he came off.
Jigga. We're Jigga. Jigga. You gotta come look at this, bro. There's three groupers just, I was like this close to them. They're all just looking at me. Jigga is gonna be throwing this here acorn, topwater style. How flared they are. Get them fired up on the corn. It's corn. <laughs> it's a big lumpy knob. It's got the juice. Oh! 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 Okay. On the acorn! No! Okay. Oh! I got on! I'm on on the nub! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! No! I got broke! Oh, come on! Dude! Get corn! He just doesn't know where it's at. He's just jumping. He's just like, I. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, yes, on the acorn. You got to land him. You got to land him. You got to land him. Land him, J-Gad. Corn to catch. All right, we need some walnuts next. We need a walnut. Come on, dude. This is, this is 2015 YouTube history. <laughs> you ready? Wow, dude. AP Bassin caught a fish on lettuce, and you just caught a fish <laughs> on an acorn. <laughs> Is, please tell me the acorn's in there. It's got to be, right? Shark attack! Shark attack! Yeah. I just got broke off, yeah. <laughs> Shark attack! Shark attack! Dang, son. This is incredible. <laughs> All right, it is officially 2.59. I have a fish. I woke up at 3.30 in the morning. Cap, thank you, bro. You yes, made sir. it happen. I only destroyed a boat, got stung by a bee, got a screw in my tire. And Jared and, forgot his gear yeah. at the dock. <laughs> There's a lot of bad stuff that's happened, but we finally got fish on board and it was worth it. So, putting this guy back in the water. Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> you did that on purpose. And now we will continue the feeding frenzy. We were trying to spear it. I've had a couple opportunities at Gags, but this is like way more fun. It's super intense. A couple days later, a lot has happened, including we figured out what's wrong with the boat. We'll show you guys after this quick little spiel. Uh, it's very interesting. It's not the end of the video, so stay tuned. Um, but I want to say a big thanks to Captain Dallas. Captain Dallas actually put me on my very first grouper ever and kind of got my spearfishing journey started. Um, he not only called in to get us towed, but he also got us hooked up with Captain Vincent, who took us out on the water that day. Uh, so literally, I mean, dude, we drove three hours to get the boat out there. It was supposed to be this big mission, and like your boy is brokenhearted, right? Like I spent way too much money on the boat, and then for it to have that problem, and I can't even get it insured right now. So like, there's that whole deal. And I thought it was on fire. I was like, oh my gosh, I just lost all the money that uh, I invested into this boat, and yeah, it's just a, a big nightmare essentially. So um, you know, there was a lot of weight on my shoulders that day but we got some fish it was really really cool and then i actually teamed up with the nautical bros like a day later and we went through the boat we've got a bunch of stuff ordered like pretty much everything new for the engine but we found the main cause and uh yeah i'll go ahead and show that to you boys i did a little bit of research now i'm not the mechanic here but i uh Brandon, that, I, that i found your impeller yeah that's exactly what it was we, we thought it'd be an impeller issue and I did see online, it says if there's any rubber in your strainer there, that's your impeller. That's exactly what it was. It chewed the it up. The whole impeller. Yeah, probably the whole thing. <laughs> okay, well, perfect. Perfect. We actually have a trend on this channel to chew up impellers or just make impellers super rock hard. And this one is nice and soft now, actually. I didn't check the bottom of the strainer, so to be fair, I would have known immediately. That's hilarious. Look at that. It, but that's what I was saying. It's hard to believe that one of these pipes would get clogged up with grass because they're pretty big. The impeller is it's <laughs> toast. Strainer. Hey, I did see on a forum a guy said, you know, randomly check that when you use it, especially in salt water, because you'll get like little shrimp and stuff in there. Oh, for sure. <laughs> he said like, he said they'll, they'll be totally alive. He said just pick out the little shrimp. He said, dude, I get shrimp in mine all the time. It's an extra bait well. Yeah, isn't that hilarious? It's so funny. By the way, nice shirt, bro. I'm loving it. 
We gotta show the submarine some love here soon. Yes, God. We, we keep, uh, you know, that was our first project. It went so smooth compared to everything else. <laughs> yeah, 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 the submarine. It's, you know? But yeah. then again, we just kind of band-aided it to even make sure it worked. Yeah, don't tell the people at home that, you know? <laughs> we, we ain't got a whole lot left to do to it, though. Yeah. But a few touch-ups on it, and it just Jeez. figure out where to go use it. Right. Which, in reality, it was a lot of things that we couldn't find out until it was submerged underwater. That's true. Okay, well... I guess uh, if there's a way to check the impeller, let's check that just to make sure that's not, you know, something else critical. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good with this big old girl. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, essentially, this boat right here behind me is the only one that works, the jet boat. Thank God for Guggen hooking me up with this thing. Uh, Coast Guard boat, we've got some stuff we got to do. We've got some parts being sent off for repair or just like aesthetic stuff, but we actually have like a bunch of motor parts, like I said, coming in. We're working tirelessly on the F1 boat. The Nautical Bros are going so hard on that. That boat is gonna be completely rebuilt when you guys see it. It's gonna be, I mean, that's gonna be next level. That's a straight water rocket. Uh, the jet ski needs some freaking help too, and my big boat is also down. My other big boat, the Amy Joe, the survival boat. So yeah, it's, uh, it's getting intense, but um, I'm packing everything up right now because uh, I'm gonna go do a Guggen week out with Flair, Nebraska And I think it's like 17 degrees outside there right now and your boy is like I've been getting my tan on down here in Florida So I gotta get ready to go be freezing cold in Nebraska and honestly need to go get me some uh, Some like warm gear. So I gotta hop off the camera gotta go get on the laptop get this up to you guys but i just want to say thanks for all the support and uh i promise all the boats will be working uh, soon and we might just have to start sub submarine again because the submarine game was way more successful than the blow up boat gang <laughs> all right that wraps it up i love you guys uh i'll see you next time Mwah!